I'm Wendy Chambers, and this is my exhibition exploratory surgery at the Winchester Cultural Center. The title is Exploratory Surgery, and I thought it would be an appropriate term that is um, taken from the medical field, and my understanding is when um, all other options of diagnosis have kind of been exhausted and uh, maybe a surgeon will go inside of a body and look for answers. And so being that a lot of the paintings are referencing cadavers, uh, which I worked with in graduate school, uh, I liked that idea um, of how that was kind of a reflection of me researching cadavers and then making paintings of um, essentially human remains that um, are kind of ambiguous. It's not inherently um, clear that you're looking at a corpse, but there may be something of a hint of something bodily about it. Um, but there's also something kind of unsettling yet intriguing at the same time. And so I felt that that term would kind of coincide with my own process of making paintings. So the hair has uh, very graciously come from my friend and fellow artist Maureen Halligan. We went to a graduate school here at UNLV and I got that idea um, thinking about other things that I can incorporate into the paintings, especially working with the wax. And hair always has been something that's fascinated me for our kind of relationship with it. It's always thought of, I think, for um, a lot of people, especially women, it's that crowning jewel. Um, it's something that's a source of vanity and beauty. But the moment it becomes, you know, detached from your scalp, um, it just becomes hair. If you find it, you know, on the floor, or, you know, forbidden it around an eating setting, it's something Ugh, gross hair. Get away from me! And so, it's kind of that same attraction and repulsion. Yeah, the, the sketches are directly referenced from my own research in the cadaver lab and um, that comes through in the drawing and the thing with the drawing is, is that even though it's not like a hyper-realistic drawing, even if it was, it would still be so foreign and um, unrecognizable. And that's kind of the point is that even if you do could look at um, the inside of your body, it would look so different than I think what our sterile um, kind of textbook uh, diagram would tell us it looks like. Everything is perfectly symmetrical, there's no, you know, blood, and if it is, it's, you know, it's a very uh, delicate drawing. But in reality, you know, we all, uh, it's, it's a big mess in there. Being a studio artist at Madame Tussauds has definitely influenced my current work, which I feel very grateful to have. Um, a day job that feeds into my um, career as an artist in a very positive way. And so definitely working with wax figures and working with hair and working with you know bodies day by day, uh, it, it's in a different manner in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it made me think about, you know, you know, this has been made um, in terms of figures, they've been made with wax for, you know, hundreds of years, and why is this so successful, you know, this illusion of, of flesh? So most of the colors are actually something that I would derive from um, researching bodies, um, living and dead, and while some of them may be uh, slightly intensified, like a, a pink may be a, a little bit more saturated, which is just, you know, a term for it's a little bit, um, you know, more striking. All the color in terms of greens and yellows and um, pinks is, are things that I'm referencing directly from the body. Um, so the one with, the, the yellow one with the hair, that one, um, I was thinking a lot about how, what fat looks like underneath the skin. So like globs of fat, it's very, you know, bright yellow. And so I think, um, I definitely am always thinking about color when I'm making a painting and how it's referenced from, uh, from life and also how it's going to have an effect on the viewer too. I'm Wendy Chambers and I'm a local artist and I would love it if you came out and viewed my show.